Okay, this is gonna be short, this is gonna be sweet, this is gonna be Valparaiso. <laughs> Valparaiso is a port city in Chile that was built to service Santiago, which is obviously not by the sea. Spanish ships would bring goods to Valparaiso and then they would be shipped inland, maybe by train or wagon, to Santiago. Valparaiso, the city, has some great colonial architecture. No, it doesn't. That's not the main thing. Valparaiso as a city has a mix of beautiful colonial architecture, aging and sad art deco, and colourful and vibrant street art. It has a tram system still functioning from the 30s and 40s, with some great old carriages riding on it. It has funiculars, some still steam powered, I think. And we did a quick walking tour of the city. The street art is everywhere. They have competitions. It really is amazing to see. It's worth a day trip just for that. People come from all over the world to take part in Valparaiso's street art scene. and. As a whole for the city, I think it's the most impressive I've seen. The city itself does have this sort of sad aging quality because while it had its sort of heyday in the 50s and 60s, it's been downhill since then ever since tourism took a dive. It used to be known as the Jewel of the Pacific, but when the Panama Canal opened, in order to reach the west coast of South America, ships no longer had to go down south of Cape Horn and come up past Valparaiso. They could instead cut across the Panama Canal much more easily. Because of this, Valparaiso has really taken a dive in the last 50 years. I believe there are still some larger ships that can't go through the Panama Canal, but its existence has meant that a great deal of the traffic that did make Valparaiso quite a wealthy and beautiful city has long since gone. A very quick note on dogs in South America. Depending on which country you're in, and indeed which city you're in, street dogs are treated very, very differently. But while we were in Valparaiso, it was one of the most beautiful things I'd seen. The street dogs there were fat, they were so well fed, they were well taken care of. The city has programs to sterilize them, to give them appropriate veterinary care. Shopkeepers leave out food and water. And while we were on our walking tour, there were three dogs with us that would meet the same walking tour guide every day, walk with him through the journey, and at the end they would get paid from the empanada shop, as naive tourists, just like me, would buy an empanada, one for themselves, and feed the other to the dogs. Taking care of animals is important, and sometimes treating animals well is part of a larger picture about how, more importantly, we treat humans well. So I'm hopeful that, that part of Valparaiso culture is a really positive element that extends into human society as well. However, we were only there for 24 hours, so it was too short to really get much of an insight into that. That's all for now. Bye. Porque más la plaza de la Victoria es un centro social. Tu avenida Pedro Moco, Moco no hay otra igual. Más yo quisiera cantarles con todito el corazón. Con venera de mi ensueño, Valparaíso. Valparaíso de mi amor.